The Disney Fantasy is quite the ship, with her classic beauty and exquisite attention to detail. She's particularly special to us at Popular Cruising because we were there when she was still being built, under tarps and behind scaffolds, at the shipyard in Poppenburg, Germany, as new build number 688 for Meyer Wharf. We were there in New York when she was christened by godmother Mariah Carey at a celebration that included thousands. The overall ship design of the Disney Fantasy is truly impressive. From the very comfortable staterooms and their vintage nautical theming, to the elegant regal touches throughout the vessel. She also includes clever nods to Disney's theme parks on land. And of course, that unmistakable Disney whimsy. And focus on story and theming everywhere. Some new features on the Fantasy that aren't found on her sister, the Disney Dream, include Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique, the retail makeover experience shared with the Disney theme parks. At Animator's Palette, watch as your placemat character drawing magically comes to life on screen, and get soaked at Aqualab, the new water play area. On Fantasy, there's fun for all, especially with the entertainment on board, including first-run films like The Avengers. Family interactive fun is found at D-Lounge. And enjoy more access to your favorite Disney characters than ever on land, including Jack Sparrow in Pirates in the Caribbean, followed by the only fireworks display at sea. You're sure to have a blast. Dance the night away with top-notch sound and colorful outdoor lighting. Then in the morning, brave the Aqueduct water coaster with its thrilling ride. It's pleasingly well integrated with the rest of the ship's architecture. Become a member of the Midship Detective Agency and play the scavenger hunt to interact with the enchanted art on board, including this depiction of the fort and pirate ship battle from the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. And the Muppets are also on board, helping out with clues, including Pepe the King Prawn, who just happens to have his own stateroom on board, number 5148 and a half. As long as the adults are happy to give up an onboard casino, the kids get that much more exclusive space. Here, play and interactivity abound, including at the Oceaneer Club and the Oceaneer Lab. The kids stay active on board with foot stomping video games in the floor. They hang out with their favorite Disney characters. They even get to spy on passing ships with this fun digital periscope. And splash their cares away at Nemo's Reef wet play area. Oh, and did I mention? The teens get the entire Ford bow all to themselves. Families can join together again for meals at venues such as Royal Court to enjoy dishes like these. The decor at Royal Court is based on the Disney princesses and includes exquisite mosaics. One of the other rotational dining rooms is Enchanted Garden, modeled after Versailles, and offering nicely plated dishes. Some of the tables in this room are these finely detailed alcoves. Animator's Palette is the most colorful and decorated restaurant on board. Menus on the Disney Fantasy offer something for everyone's tastes. And remember here is where you get to watch your own drawings come to life on screen. Adults only specialty restaurants include the Italian Palo and its excellent sea day brunches and cradled wines. The culinary arts shine most at Remy with its exquisite gusto room modeled after the restaurant in the Pixar film Ratatouille. On the surface, Europa seems to be just a collection of drink bars for adults. But in truth, some of the ship's best theming is found right here. Like this Vespa in La Piazza. O'Gill's offers a house Irish cream that beats Bailey's. Enjoy champagne tastings at the French boudoir themed Ooh La La. And gaze upon the rotation of European vistas as the night wears on at Skyline. Catch a variety show at the Tube 
themed after the London Underground. Castaway Cay is Disney's private island destination. Here you'll find Disney's usual dedication to theming. Family beaches here are very clean and well organized. And if you're already missing the aqueduct, there are plenty of water slides here too. Under the intense Caribbean sun, it's nice to find plenty of shade structures. And of course, Disney's playfulness. There are plenty of great photo ops of your ship as well. In the end, it's the details of the Disney fantasy that culminate to create such a great experience. Like the beautiful mosaics. And flooring patterns. Wood carved chairs. And Mickey Glove elevator dials. The silliness of Disney characters. And puns intended. Art. Architecture. Where else will you find such a decorated fire door? And handsome restaurant entrance. It's all about the details. Details. And more details. The Disney fantasy is waiting for you, so come on board.